Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, yeah, so definitely, um, so we've had a lot of crazy things happen this week, and I definitely did want to talk about that a little bit, but, uh, from an artist's perspective, I just released my first album as a rap artist, and on top of that, I just released my first book as an author, so there's a lot of exciting things happening right now, so I just want to talk about it, get back on the air with Richard. Yeah, so it's actually not a band. I'm not in a band anymore, even though I really wish I was. Um, coronavirus has definitely destroyed a lot of opportunities for artists, and that has driving me nuts because I love playing in bands. But this is a solo. This is a solo project. I am a solo rapper. And um, I'm going out there for the first time, trying something new, getting out of my comfort zone a little bit. Uh, you know, I've been on the air with um, a couple of my bands in the past. Uh, I used to be a guitarist, then I went to drummer, but now it's just all me. You know, it's a lot easier that way. Nowadays, I'm really loving what you guys are doing, and I'm loving what a lot of venues are doing, getting creative by doing a lot of live shows. A lot of these artists are doing a, like, a lot of like Facebook Live um, concerts, and that's a good way to bring uh, a little bit of extra revenue to these restaurants and venues that are kind of just, you know, suffering right now. It's a little, it's a little crazy, but because of people like you that are going out there and giving these artists a platform to actually talk during this time when they can't go on stage, you know, it's awesome. It's amazing, and it's great. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> It really just spans from like a variety of subjects. You hit it on the nail. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, my personal life that goes in there. There's a lot of um, from an author's perspective, I like I like to write a lot of stories and put like a lot of fictional um situations in these raps. But yeah, there's a, definitely a little bit of politics in there. Not in any songs I have released to date, um, but there have been political songs in the past where I talk about, like, um, you know, Trump's inauguration going into office and the expectations we had. Uh, I put a little spin on that, you know, like I like to, uh, I mean, rap isn't exactly the most serious place to talk about politics, so it's more of emotional for me. Um, now, you, you hit on the nail, too, you know, it's not always about, you know, talk about banging girls and you know, going to the club and the strip club and all that. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different. A lot of people discourage the way I take my approach because it's more melodic. Um, but with that being said, you know, some people get it, some people don't. I'm excited and just to get out there and just do something new, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Maybe I should practice talking to a metronome. Well, it's kind of weird because um, I started recording other artists. I started recording a lot of rap artists just to make some extra income because I got a studio. Um, so with that being said, once I started to do that, I started to realize that in order to become... Uh, a better producer 
I think it'd be pivotal and better to start recording raps myself. So I can actually practice mixing. And, you know, after uh, two years, it's been doing this for two years now. A lot of people are saying that, you know, hey, this is uh, this is pretty interesting how you're doing that. As opposed to playing guitar. Now, um, and drums. It's just when you're in a band, you've got to depend on so many people. There's so many people you got to depend on. There's a lot of intricacies that go into this. But I like rap, first and foremost, because there's nobody bossing you around. You know, there's nobody to where you have to listen to somebody and they, they tell you you can't do that, you know. Um, I can say whatever I want. I can record for free, and I, I want to give back, you know, the best I can. But at the same time, it's very important to, you know, stick to the genre's roots, you know, and that, that's the toughest part I have because I am a rock guy, and you know, moving into the rap and it's, it's just, it's, it's a tough transition because I didn't grow up listening to that. But a lot of people have, and you know, those are the ones that uh, that tend to challenge me the most. But besides that, you know, I just like it. I love all styles of music. Yeah. 